Hey Xamarin developers, this is Xamarin Guys Show 48 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a simple grid view just like this. And our advanced Xamarin Forms tutorial will start from uh, tutorial number 50. So, in order to create a grid view just like this, so let us start for from file new and then select a project and then select cross platform. Here you see a lot of options that is cross platform as well as UI test. We'll select a cross platform and give it a name as you like and uh, then click on ok after that you can select a dotnet standard project as well as a shared project that will work fine for both in our previous session we have already discussed about real use of app.jml and why it is used inside our project here main page is a placeholder which contains the page to be loaded that is our main page is going to be kicked off when our ui screen is going to be started now let us go to our main page.jml I don't want my UI screen to display a navigation bar that's why I have placed as false you can set it as true also now let us add grid view as in a previous session we have already discussed about grid view and its real implementation I'll implement it inside our project in order to generate our new UI screen now let us define our grid as grid row definition and inside our grid row definition we will be placing grid row height as infinite I'll place another grid row height as infinite so that we are placing three grid rows inside our UI screen now I'll be placing three stack layout inside our grid row 0 1 and 2 of height infinite and uh, I'll be giving orientation as horizontal as well as horizontal option as fill and expand so that it can cover whole our UI screen inside our stack layout here the main idea is we are going to add two images inside our grid row 0 which is defined in our UI screen you can check over here this is my grid row 0 where I am placing two images inside it whose orientation is horizontal so in order to get that image I have simply downloaded it from my web store you can download from Google Chrome these are my set of images that I have downloaded it in my, in my folder now let us minimize it this is my set of images and now we have to convert it to this frame format in order to convert such vertical as well as horizontal image we have to take it to photoshop and then convert those downloaded images these are my set of vertical as well as horizontal image so let us see our size so that you have some understanding about vertical as well as horizontal images this is my white this is my height that a vertical image is going to hold and then again this is not i have to again go to canvas size this is my horizontal image and we have to give a height and width for that that's all and then we have to convert it to this frame format that's all now let us call all those images inside our resources folder for android and this will be applicable for both android as well as ios and i'll be placing all those images inside my resources folder resources drawable folder and on hdpi and uh, all those images should be set inside our iOS project too but let us go to our iOS project I'll minimize that let us minimize that also and then resources folder we have to place all those images inside it now let us call all those image name inside our stack layout of our main project before that here I have given my navigation bar as false because I don't want navigation bar to appear in my UI screen you have to understand that I have dragged and dropped all my converted images inside our drawable SDPI folder this is my image one that I am going to call inside my image source 1.jpg now I have to add 1.jpg and then let us give a horizontal option as fill and expand and then aspect as aspect fill and um, let us copy that image source and let us give image 3.jpg you can add any image for that and then i'll be placing all those uh, two images inside my one stack layout which is defined on grid row as zero now i'll place another stack layout which will define another two images I'll cut that image so that I'll have only one image inside my grid row 3 this is my last image that is going to be defined in my last grid row and for that let us alter that image source so that you can have clear understanding let us give that image 3 and 
let us give as image2.jpg and that stack layout will be defined on one position as well as this is my last stack stack layout that's all now we are going to compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not before that let us remove some spacing let us remove that also and then let us check whether we are correct or not okay I think we are correct now let us compile it now let us start our emulator this is the previous screen that was operating it will go again okay it started let us wait for some time okay we got our correct output thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials